that's when it gets weird when you look at that one and then you're like, like yeah. I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's I get it. <laughs> we like those um we like those clinky balls where <laughs> 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 so I was thinking that was you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> this is see. Last week we were overlit, and this week we are uh, underlit. Underlit. Maybe it, my hat makes me look like a <laughs> backwards hat. That's better. See, it was me all along. Hi, Sam. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Good. Good. That's good. And uh, hey, everyone. Welcome to our Lucky Dip video. A bit of supplementary content from our Good Movie Monday podcast. Got Benjamin over there. Got Melzy in the middle and Poochie on the end. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is a loose uh, episode. <laughs> it was a loose podcast on Monday. Go back and have a listen to it. Uh, always loose. <laughs> this one, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lubricated. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, are you ready for some lucky dip, Sam? I am. Would you like to go first? Am I going first? Yep. No oh. worries. Can you hear that? I can now. Oh, good. <laughs> it's the best part when you can hear it like shaking there. Yeah, That's how you know the lottery isn't rigged. <laughs> like like this guy back in the early days where I would just go, I'm going to talk about that film and not that yeah. film. <laughs> <laughs> it like, it's not gonna sure. One time, one time I picked one out and you guys were talking and I looked at it and I, I chose another one. And you guys, <laughs> you, you didn't even know. You didn't even know. <laughs> This is, a, this is a sham. I'm so <laughs> honest, I never even thought of that. <laughs> now. Um, going to go yeah. back and look for, that, look for that video and delete it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got? It's too small. Jackass, the first one. Oh. Yeah. Again? Never seen it. <laughs> never seen it. <laughs> well, that's had a lot of coverage on, on the show in the last few yes. weeks. Uh, we yes. had our Chris Pontius episode. I love it. Jackass, the first movie, had a major impression on me. What, uh, what an experience that was at the yeah. audience. Did you see it? I saw it at home. Like, uh, not, first not time in, at home? Yeah. 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 Mm. And let me ask you this. After you saw it, did you run home and then stick your dick in a blender? <laughs> <laughs> well, it does say, do not try this stunts at home. So, no. Yes, it says that because people do it. <laughs> <laughs> Done by professionals. It says that. <laughs> In the first one, they put it after the credits, which no one stuck around for. Yeah. So in the second one, it's right up front. It said nothing about Nutribullets. Yeah. <laughs> it said Blender, not Nutribullets. That's right. The healthier option. Yeah. Uh, Sam, what does jackass mean to you? Uh, it, it actually changed my life. I know it sounds really dramatic, but it really did. <laughs> it, it, it opened my mind to like what cinema actually could be because <laughs> I, I had no idea that this could actually be a movie that they put in cinemas that it's people went to <laughs> it's the citizen like, game of funniest home videos yeah. <laughs> yeah it was like I feel like it was YouTube before YouTube but it was mm -hmm. in the cinema it, it's crazy I don't know it really did it changed my life I, I loved Jackass it was I don't know. You're the right age for I it. I followed too. it for a long time. You were time. impressionable mm. when that came along. Like you would have been yeah, like yeah. a young teen. Whereas I was a, I was a um, grown ass adult yeah. in a cinema full of young teens. And I think I yeah. liked it more because I was wrapped up with the infectious laughter, you know, from all of them. But hey, I love Jack. I love particularly the Jackass 0.5 films they do. Like 3.5, I think is the best one. Yeah. Yeah, definitely the the extra ones. I have I have all of them like down here somewhere. Um, but I think I think the the point fives like felt like you were um, you were there with them because they just put everything else in there. Yeah, that it's they, a whole they new movie they've structured out of different yeah. content. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, definitely. There you go. Well, you've probably yeah. given Jackass more conversation than we did on the actual show. So. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. Ben doesn't like talking about it. Yeah. Garrett and I want to get him on the couch and uh, watch one. Yeah, you should. It'll blow your mind. <laughs> what are you going to do to me when I fall asleep? Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to wear that couch. Yeah. Going, actually. <laughs> All righty, Ben, do you want to you want to dive in? <laughs> so that's just for you, Sam. That noise. <laughs> oh, so good. 
<laughs> that ASMR thing that we do. Yeah, yeah. That's a TikTok for another <laughs> account, the ASMR account. The stuff. The stuff. The stuff. Are yeah. you eating the stuff or is the stuff eating you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is a this is a quite a an, an important film for Ben and I. I would say it's oh. a unique horror film. Take it away, Ben. It is. It's another. It's written written and directed by Larry Cohen. Stars Michael Moriarty. So, uh, you know, if you've been listening to the sh- if you listen to the show this week, <laughs> you'll know that means that Michael Moriarty punches someone in the face yeah. in the first five minutes, <laughs> and it is beautiful. <laughs> What's it about, Ben? <laughs> uh, it's about uh, well, this this new food product. Oh, actually, this guy isn't it? This guy in this country town ta- in this country town stumbles upon this stuff bubbling up out of the ground, and it tastes good. Mm-hmm. So they just it becomes <laughs> this global food phenomenon, and then the uh, the uh, the rival conglomerates of like ice cream and yogurt uh, hire Mo. Was it Mo Green? Is his name? It's not, it's not Mo Green, but it's Mo. Is it Mo Rutherford? I think is his name. Michael Moriarty, and he's like, you know, why they ask me why they call me Mo? Because every time someone offers me money, I want Mo Mo Mo. <laughs> 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 Terrible. And uh, they hire him. He's like a he's like a corporate espionage kind of yep uh, thief. And he's, he's a slugworth. To, yeah, uh... and he tries to track down the origin of uh, the stuff, and then that's when you find out the stuff is actually. <laughs> sentient yes and uh is uh actually consuming us consuming us from the inside it's 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 Ah. kind of does a similar thing to what uh they lived in it's about consumerism yeah and all that how how we lap stuff up when it's given to us on the it's like they live meets the thing yeah totally yeah Yeah. it's it's and and the stuff can be it's it's versatile you can use it for everything yeah it is like all those jokes about it's a floor cleaner it's a dessert yeah Yeah. (laughs) That's the stuff, and yeah, and it, it ends world hunger, and like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's an awesome pick. Did you put that? You definitely that's put cool. that in there. It may be yeah, in there again because I reckon I might have put that in there. Oh, <laughs> well, that again. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll pick that. <laughs> that's another Ben one. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Planet of the Apes. Uh, I'll let you decide which one. How interesting, too, because we just I watched did. the first episode of The Author, which has a scene for Planet of the Apes. Oh, yeah. It does. Uh, uh, let's talk about the Tim Burton one. I don't mind the Tim no, Burton one. The Tim Burton one's good until he changes the end, how it right? includes. Yeah. And it makes mm. no sense whatsoever. Yeah. But the original Charlton Heston one, like that's just what, I won't say groundbreaking, but it's, it's influential. Yeah. Yeah. Influential, yeah. Like, like those yeah. people who grew up with famous monsters of Filmland and all that kind of stuff, they idolize yeah. Planet of the Apes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a film too that like movies didn't really have twists back then. Like no, not like this, and it's a, a twist end. Mm-hmm. Spoiler for people who are what fifty years behind the times. <laughs> and I will say was, that yeah. the Simpsons parody musical is one of the best parody musicals <laughs> of a movie franchise I have ever seen. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping that one of you would start would see <laughs> no, that. No, 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 it's not going to happen. No. Didn't happen. Go for it. Go for it. No, I'm not going to do it. Uh, I've but, learned that lesson. But the new the new trilogy is really good too. With yeah. Franco kicking off the first one. Who directed those? Do you remember, Sam? Um, the guy no. that did the Batman, the new Batman. Tim Burton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Tim Burton did yeah, Batman. That's one of them. Yeah. So, geez, I didn't even see that connection. <laughs> there we go. She's got the Google box. Yeah. But... um. The new trilogy is great. Did you see that? Mm. Oh, no, I I haven't yet. The, new... the third, third one. one's a good It's conclusion. so good. Yeah. I yeah. Need to see Who that. was it? Was it Matthew um, no, I'm still going. The weird thing what I love about it is that the first one is like Project X. Yeah, yeah. And then the second one becomes like the stand meets Planet yeah. of the Apes. What I love about the first one is um, it's connected to the Charlton Heston film. Like it's the yeah. same universe. Yeah. So yeah. what's mm. happening on the television in the background is Charlton Heston taking off into space. Yeah. You know, where it all... You know. Yeah, wow. So when That's you know cool. what the twist ending is, you understand now how it all happened. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, very cool. So, well, yeah, thanks for pulling that out. Bit, thanks for okay. putting that in. Well, that, that just didn't come out right. Yeah. <laughs> in, in the context of, of Monday's show, it came I'll, out perfectly. I'll take credit for the hokey pokey. Oh, Matt Reeves. Matt Reeves. Oh, yeah. Matt Reeves. Matt Reeves. So, yeah, yeah, we got there. Really yeah, it took me a really long time. <laughs> Excellent. All right, my turn. I'm going to go for one of mine because they're 
mine, mine are small. Small, than them. yeah. <laughs> Through that. <laughs> and you'll know why if you listen to Monday show. Everything comes back to Monday show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> Hawk Jones. Hawk Jones. Hawk Jones. Everybody. Now, this is a movie. Uh, it's an exploitation movie. It's R rated. Um, it's gangsters, it's cops, it's blood, it's guts, and every single character is played by like a six year old. Oh, yeah, oh I think there. you've talked about this. There it is. It's next to like human traffic near there, hunted. Just go over with your finger and I'll tell you when you're on the spot. Yep. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yep. <laughs> I think uh, you've talked about this one before. I have talked about this before because if you go to the official website and look up the critic reviews, yeah, mine's the only true. one there. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is like literally <laughs> the only one there, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It's um, Bugsy Malone. Yeah. And it's Bugsy Malone or after Bugsy Malone? It's, I think, it's, oh, good question. Maybe after Bugsy Malone. But the difference is like it's actually really violent. Like it is, like they made an adult film and just put kids in the roles. Right. Um, very inappropriate, <laughs> but oh, God, it's good. Every kid commits to it too. Like they, yeah. he thinks he's a real de- you know, detective, <laughs> trench coat, funny little fella. It's Julia White, isn't it? What? It's Urkel. No, I don't think no. so. <laughs> no. I don't but think I do it that. Yeah. <laughs> There's just no, and I can't get out. There's just no Urkels in this world anymore. Yeah. But, like what sitcom has an Urkel? Like every sitcom had that character. Like. It was well, Kimmy yeah. Giblet in Full House, and and what was it? Family Ties um, had Skippy. Had Skippy. Mm, mm, uh, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Eddie Haskell in Leave It to Beaver. Yeah, <laughs> going right back. Goes all the way back. <laughs> yeah, but sitcoms now, not really. They're all that character. All well, now that, that's the main character. It's Kramer from Seinfeld, but now the shows are just about the weird. Big Bang yeah. Theory. They're all, they're all that yeah, character. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. You know what? I'm looking at that focus on that camera. It's following you, Mel. Look at that. Oh, your frame. That makes no, <laughs> that, see if I can. That makes. <laughs> can I steal it? <laughs> Literally makes no sense to anyone watching unless I animate that on the screen, which I'm not. Yeah. Gonna do. It actually is. <laughs> so Mel's probably in perfect focus, and then you know, yeah. where we belong. Where we belong. All right. Just, just over here, out of focus. Sam, do you want to do yeah, that final bonus round? Oh, yeah, sure. We can talk about this for a little bit because we're only like 13 minutes into this. So, and if there's anything these videos need to be, it's a longer. <laughs> that's true. Actually, no, that's a bastard to, to export and upload. So, <laughs> hurry up. Well, that doesn't worry us. So, whatever. Dante's, 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 Dante's peak. peak. Oh, Dante's yeah. peak. Oh, acid legs. That's the second Pierce Brosnan film of the, uh, the week. Of the week. Yeah. That's right. Um, yeah, un- unforgettable Gorgeous moment when day. when uh, you mm. get the uh, the granny hopping into the acid lake. Yeah, you didn't yeah. need to do it. Like, just didn't need to do it. No. Like the, <laughs> yeah. the shore was so close. Yeah, yeah. so many yeah. people like, talk about on the shore. <laughs> and you can see like the shore. Wow. <laughs> I remember thinking that. What it's, when I was it's a, it's it's a fucking rose from Titanic moment. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. If we all like motion in the same direction we can mm. get this boat to the shore yeah Stupid movie yeah. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a great movie yeah directed by is it roger donaldson that did that aussie slash new zealand director roger daltrey is who you're thinking <laughs> <laughs> back to from the google the, machine from the hoop yeah. <laughs> and this what came out at the same time as volcano it's teenage wasteland that's what we're talking about <laughs> Yeah. Linda Hamilton. What else? That's right. Linda Hamilton's in it. Pretty what scary was, film. What's the other movie? Yeah, it was the other disaster movie that came out at the same time. I just said it. <laughs> what was that? Volcano. Volcano. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. Roger that Donaldson. Was like LA unrealistic volcanoes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh? Roger Roger Donaldson. Yeah, Roger Donaldson. Excellent. There we go. There's Good. that piece of trivia for you. Indian yeah. species. Yep. The bounty cocktail. Mm-hmm. Hey, cocktail, now you're talking about it. <laughs> That's right. I heard somewhere that they were thinking of doing a sequel to Cocktail. Now that Tom Cruise has done Top Gun. and With Tom Cruise. And these sort of retro sequels were mm. all the go. Mm. Requel, was it what they call them? A requel. Um, okay. Cocktails and Dreams. Cocktail is one of them. The Ghost of mm. Brian Brown. No. Zombies. 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 <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What cocktail would you... you You'd go for a, a cock sucking cowboy, uh, wouldn't you? Yeah, the, uh, the <laughs> orgasm, the death spasm. Yeah. The, the three toads for six on the beach. 
<laughs> that suits cocktail more, doesn't it? Because you got that Kokomo song. Mm. Like a, yeah. Oh, Kokomo. I went and saw I cocktail sex cinemas. on the beach for one. <laughs> They call it the handy drink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, fisherman, the, the fisherman's friend. <laughs> Talk about volcano <laughs> and the stuff all rolled into one way. <laughs> <laughs> and his name's Roger. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's all coming together. That's right. Oh, wow. Excellent. <laughs> uh, I hope you all enjoyed that video of like a kid. <laughs> I like uh, I like having three on the side of the desk. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, next time that you're on the show, which I think we've lined up an episode coming up, this is yep. going to be us. Oh, like four? No, <laughs> no. Oh. Just, just a threesome. You're you're going to be the, you're going to be the meat. Oh, I'll be there, right? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I get a text tomorrow saying, "Oh, I'm busy that week." <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to start a private chat with Mel. Yeah. What do they do? <laughs> we know yeah. what's happening under the desk if you listen to Monday's show. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't listen to Monday's At show, Sam. On this yeah. part of the desk. You won't want to. You won't want to be here. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, next week, Ben. See you then. See you then. See you next month. Will do. See you next week. Ciao. Bye.